actually knowledge is good. The yeah. knowledge is important. Thank you, Internet. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Previously, it was impossible for a yeah, guy yeah. to buy books and to understand yeah. Latin, but now everything is in Google. Yeah. So, so why did you need this in investigation? Why didn't you operate it there? What's what's Yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. So I say the from 2017, I say yeah. everything. So yeah, so back then in 2017 I got hydrocyl. Yeah. Hydrocyl I got hydrocyl. I I didn't know anything about uh, all this uh, what we say biological things or about body anything yeah. earlier in those days. 2017 I was uh, now I was a teenager so I yes. don't know anything much right. So I thought uh, I don't know. I thought I actually what I thought is I am a crazy in when it comes to driving uh, yes so i thought maybe i bumped into something and got hit and it got swollen i thought that is what happened uh. mm. so i thought i will give it time and it will heal itself uh. yeah. i waited for a week yeah. and the hydro cells, it was not much big it was like this uh. yeah. so it, it, it went away all by itself so and then i felt uh, i started feeling pain maybe around after 20 days i go i went to nearest uh, what they say is uh, ultrasound, yeah. Doppler test, yes. all by myself. Yeah. And I asked how, them, how old were you at that age? I don't know, sir. 2017 it is. It is like five, I mean, five I'm years, a biotechnology student, so for like 22 or something. No, sir. I'm a, I'm not a engineer student. I took medical category. Okay. So I know a little bit more than this max students, right? Yeah. So I went to this uh, nearest room. Mm. Diagnostic diagnosis. Ah, so I got my ultrasound uh, all by myself. I yeah. saw it. I, I learned that I got varicocele, yeah. and then I go. I went to some homeopathy. Yeah. So I, I they didn't give any answer. And there are many alternative treatments. In yeah. India, right? First I went to homeopathy alternative treatment, and then I went to my what we say family doctor. He said uh, I will need a surgery. Uh, which will cost me around 15,000 back then. Yeah. So surgery, I was scared, so I did, I just turned it down. And then I went to a urologist. <clears throat> and uh, there he, he suggested me that, uh, uh, first of all, we should know. First of all, he wrote, again, he wrote the ultrasound because I went after so many months. Yeah. Uh, I was learning to bear the pain because it's an embarrassing thing for me, sir. <laughs> Unlike so many people, I don't know because, I mean, yeah, so after so many months I went, so he said this ultrasound doesn't work still. So he said you go and get it again. In that it was written as post-traumatic, <coughs> post-varicose. Post-varicose. Post you are operated and... Yeah, 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 it is written as... And he still suggested me that uh, hmm. you get a semen analysis. Yeah. So I don't even masturbate. Yeah. So because I feel like it is a useless thing. So yeah, I feel that is how I feel because yes. yeah, I, I feel bad. Yeah. So I couldn't do it. But uh, I went to the doctor the second day, yeah. and he said, "Come on, man, you don't feel bad. You go and you get your semen analysis." And then I went, uh, and the and there was a nurse, a female nurse, who yeah. wants to take my semen analysis yes. thing. And uh, then what? and there, I just said to myself, this is, it is written as post varicose so I technically got healed, I need not to go through all this embarrassment, I just went to home. Yeah, I understand. Until last, uh, this year, in January. So, for, started, for maybe four or five years, you didn't Six years, it. sir, six years. And I don't, I don't do anything with my genitals, right? So, yeah. I, I... And you didn't have any pain, any... Yeah, pain, I have pain, but... but this very in case in case of this varicocele, the veins are big. Yeah. The testis became small. Yeah. But when I see it from outside, I can't see that the testis is small, right? Until I squeeze it, right? Yeah. But yeah. I don't squeeze, I don't do anything with testis, right? You so don't touch it, yes. I thought there is nothing wrong. I'm just feeling some pain. It will go away, I thought. Yeah, I learned to I learned pain. I learned bearing pain because yeah, this embarrassment has to go away. Anyone who is listening to this has to, what we say, put their foot, put their foot, step forth and what we say, cure themselves for sorrows, they are gonna lose so many things. Huh? Yes. So yeah, that is, uh, so in this uh, year, in January, I started feeling the same pain that I feel every day since last six years on my left. Uh, so uh, I'm feeling it uh, in the right also, so I soon went to this uh, family doctor yeah. and then he sent me to a urologist. Uh, and naturally they wrote, wrote me a Doppler test. Mm -hmm. I got it done on the same day. And I learned that I have grade 2 varicocele on second left and grade 1 on right. 
so uh, that is when i learned for the first time that my testicle has shrinked in size yes. by almost half yes. so yeah so That's i regretted true. my delay in treating so you never you never recognize that shrinkage yeah. because, because you because there was around the veins there are veins so, so. Uh, when i liquid i'm not so saying so what do you recommend to people how they can do you, do you think they have to uh, examine themselves how no. they can understand uh, i suggest to any patient who has this thing only one thing go to doppler yeah get your uh, ultrasound doppler test and then then be and then in that they will write the volume sir yeah, volume. volume check the volume 40 cc right? 6 cc my cubic centimeter volume yeah it's first one is 14 the other one is 6 right yeah it's basically half Yeah. more less even one cc cube one cubic centimeter one is from that side it was like half of it yeah yeah but from what we say clinically physically when i look at it it's uh, you can't understand you can't understand because all the veins are around right. so both are same morphologically yeah. but when i see it on inside anatomically these things are so when you see it you say okay now i yeah, have to make some how to make so i so i, I, so I took this urea this the problem with the urination was it in the same times they were i never had a urination problem sir until this uh, removal of catheter okay okay so i'm doing very much great uh, except this what we say is varicose pain and actually uh, after one or two years after 2017 and 18 i guess i am not getting this varicose pain every day because my body kind of learned to bearing that pain sir yeah. so it don't feel pain until it is very hard right yeah. so yeah so i went to near so stop without any symptoms it's It shrinked, yeah. It's a slow pie then without notice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it shrinked, and I went to nearest doctor. One doctor said we won't deliver the test test, sir. If you don't deliver the test test, I'm a medical student, right? So I started learning it all by myself, yeah. and I learned that there are basically three groups of veins, sir: yes. internal, external, and gubernacular. Yes, so I, any doctor I went to, I I started asking first question. Sir, what are veins? Do you like it, sir? This is my yeah. first question. Yeah. What are veins? What are you talking about, sir? Sir, I learned about this. There are three groups of veins: sir. Mm-hmm. internal, external, and gubernacular. What are do you mean? We don't touch gubernacular. We will try to do all the external and internal. Yeah, actually, what if it comes back, sir? Then yeah, I have only one kind of. Seventy percent of the patients, it is working mm-hmm. actually. The classic way is yeah, yeah. working, but. I want to have 100% yeah, success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, if if my condition was not this bad, then I would have gone through the traditional everyday uh, thing. So it's again 70% success. Yeah, success. You were in the yeah in because my my one thing is uh, more than half small, yeah. and the other thing is yeah it's fine already, and it's fine in every way. Yeah. So I just want to save it. to as much extent as i can i can't take the risk by even 1% yeah, yeah. you are saying it is 70% means 30% risk there is yes sir. so 100%. i don't want to take even 1% risk yes, and uh, I, while i was learning about all these things i stumbled into your videos sir yeah. uh, logically you are doing the right thing yeah. the best thing yeah? so it's logical it makes sense yeah, yeah it makes sense to anyone in max physics finance whatever the person may be studying he can understand that yes. logically it works uh, 95% at least yeah. na- look this is the test is there is the ex- internal veins for example yeah. when you occlude mm-hmm. these veins and the blood cannot flow that way but he, from gubernacular that they yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, i took so many photos uh, uh, online downloaded so many and i learned that Finally, I found a doctor in Hyderabad. Mm. He is saying he will like it. Earlier, I went to this doctor for the first time. He said he will won't uh, deliver everything and all. And I and I went to again. I went to him again after one week, asking, sir, if you don't uh, what we say like it, uh, gubernacular veins, and also if you miss out on any external vein. Then I kind of had have only one. These are so they, if I do this new, new subjects for them. They don't they don't understand the, what so, I am talking about. So yeah, I said if I if I if this fails, then I kind of have only one. So yeah. what is the option? Then he said, "Ah, we will deliver." <laughs> And I I instantly understood that he is say he is Actually, lying. If you if if you ask some doctor, please deliver and look. He can do it. Yeah, but if it is not his usual practice, yeah, the the result so will not think, be so. Yeah, they think if I do some damage, uh, do yes, that they, because they are not scared. practice. Eh? They scared. It's not their routine practice. Yeah, routine practice. practice. So they, they can damage. If they damage, they will get sued. Or 
when you take out the testicles, sometimes it is difficult to put it. Put back. it, it will get twisted. Yes. Yeah, it will get and twisted. And I learned that you, there's a skin connection, gubernaculum, you know, you know. You have to pull it from skin to, to take it back, not push the testes back. Mm -hmm. Just pull the skin, it go back directly to its original place. So there are some tricks and you get used to it by so Actually, in my case, it is uh, more than half inside. There is a very yes. high probability of getting it, it getting twisted. Yes. But it didn't happen in my case because yes. you are very much... <laughs> yeah. You do have it on a daily basis. Yes. So, they, yes. so uh, I finally break the ice to my mom because all this time, from last these many years, she knows nothing. Of course. All, all these years from... And it is weird when your child says, your son yeah, says, hey, I will go to Turkey for pro for No, no, no. I, she, I, she, she doesn't know anything about to have some problem over oh, here. Yeah. She doesn't know A, B, C, nothing. So all of a sudden I said this many things to her. And she still, said, it's not an easy decision to come for an operation. Yeah, yeah. I, if I was a parent, I would say, what will happen if there's any complication? What will happen? So I was always concerning this too, and I, I learned how to manage these things. I learned how to manage people from outside different countries. Uh, it takes time. Yeah, it takes yeah, but my mom felt very confident in me because whenever I speak or do something, anything, I don't fail anything. I do it confidently, or if I don't know, I just say I do not know. I do not know. So, so since I'm also a medical student, I understand few things. I explained her so clearly that she got so much confidence, and she said. You can go wherever you want and you can get this treated as soon as you want. Mm -hmm. I will support you in every way. She basically said that. And that is when I started my journey of this getting the visa. <laughs> oh my <laughs> visa. visa. Yeah, it's an yeah. issue. So please mm -hmm. share your experiences so, in this visa. Simply, no matter how many documents a person from India yeah. submits to the embassy of a Turkey, yeah. they will ask one document per shoot. Yeah. And it is uh, income proof. Income. They want to TC. They want uh, what we say tax returns. They want tax returns. Yeah. They want you to be working in something. Yeah. And filing for tax returns at the end of that year, or they want yeah. you to. They want you get sponsored by someone, and that sponsored person should have tax return. Yeah, actually, is it not possible you come to Istanbul and make some sightseeing, some visiting around and go back in a week? Is it not possible? Yeah, it is possible. Yeah, what I actually, what I thought is, if I apply for, uh, my my father is a daily wager, a carpenter. Yes. He doesn't get the salary in bank, yes, so yes. his tax don't get, get deducted. So he doesn't file for tax return. <laughs> so if he doesn't file for tax return, because he has no it's income. For most of the people in Turkey, in India, we are we have the same culture, yeah, same yeah. same kind of business. So nobody gets these bank accounts. Even in America, I, if there are people who doesn't get enough money, then why will they? Yes. Yes. So I thought uh, I thought uh, I will write a covering letter, say explaining my condition to the embassy of the Turkey, yeah. and I thought uh, they will uh, understand my condition. Yeah. But after the embassy read my covering letter. And then he said, uh, no, you are saying that you are, uh, your father is a daily wager, you are a student and your mother is a housewife. So we want an income proof and also a tax return. Uh, so without that, we are not going to give you a visa. They basically said that in the office itself. And then I went to home and uh, I found uh, my, my sister's, uh, what they say, uh, husband. Yeah. He is working in some company, yeah. so he has salary, so he has tax, uh, income proof, yeah. so he files for tax returns, so he has tax returns. So yeah. if, I, yeah. if I was known that even if I file for a covering letter uh, with explaining all my conditions, then yeah. do I need a, what we say is a tax return file, then I would have not filed for a medical visa, I would have filed for a tourist visa yes, in the first yes, place. The best, the best so I right. suggest everyone to file a tourist visa only yes, yes, and yes, somehow yes. find a sponsor who has the income proof yeah. from the company and also tax returns. Yes. Find a... This uh, is the only way. Yeah, only way. Not, no other way is right. Or else you should be working. You should be working. You should have income proof from your company. Still in this age group. Where you sell people are 20, 25 yeah, years yeah. of age. They don't have a big income. They don't have a big income. They don't have big taxes. So this is always a problem. Yeah, yeah. So this will work for many of us. So, Thank you. so if a person who is coming here by apply by getting visa by a sponsor, yeah. then the sponsor person should have a salary account with uh, enough funds in it. 
So do you like, know, can you say any amount for in Indian rupees? Yeah, one lakh rupees minimum. One? One lakh. One, one lakh. One lakh. It's one it's lakh rupees. It's, it's one triple five. Three. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's like <laughs> one thousand or one million Indian. I don't know. Do say How many zeros? One, five zeros after one. Zeros. So you one hundred thousand. Yeah, one hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got me. Okay. You you say it one lakh. One hundred thousand. Yeah, one hundred thousand. One lakh is one hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. In India we say one lakh. Yeah. In Turkey it is twenty five thousand. Yeah. It is the same amount. So yeah, basically the person who is coming to Turkey to get a visa, a tourist visa only, no medical visa, or tourist yeah. visa, he should be employed yeah. with the income. Proof, and he should have enough funds in his bank account, at least one lakh. Yeah. And if he has also has tax tax returns, is actually not mandatory that much, but it will yes, yes, yes. increase your what we say the yeah, success rate. Of, yeah, success of, rate. Yes, yeah. So mandatory things are. And it was costly, right? Turkish visa costly, oh my God. more costly than this in the United is, States. Oh my God. United States visa is uh, ten years with yes. multiple entries. <laughs> this thing is eight days and seventy eighteen thousand. Hey Turkish Embassy, please, please <laughs> help us. This is the most costliest yeah. visa. Yeah, it's, it's more more expensive than United States visa, which yeah, is nice. Yeah, yeah, not a good yeah. thing. So, at least they should give multiple entry for one year. Yeah, one year. It, 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 it is 10 years in United States. In United States. States. In Turkey too. And yeah, I don't know how to take a visa for India. But if I, I, think I, if I had enough time, then I would have applied for what they say the United States visa because actually to apply for a United States visa for the appointment it is taking around four years mm -hmm. for appointment date. Okay. So if we, if one wants to apply for United States visa from India, they should go to some other country yeah. like Singapore and then they should initiate for the yeah. appointment date to come. Early. So these are really helpful uh, <clears throat> knowledge for everyone. Okay. Uh, let's start the video and we will talk about the other details because I don't want to be the video to be too long. They will yeah, 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 yeah. So okay.